I protested against compulsory hijab with the girls of the Revolution Street. I've been arrested three times. When in Kashan, I realized that authorities were trying to build a case against me. I was arrested with my son. That was Shaparak Shajarizadeh. She says she's been given a 20-year sentence for taking off her headscarf. Right now in Iran, a woman who shows her hair in public can face anything from a small fine to time behind bars. Shajarizadeh's protest was part of a movement known as White Wednesdays, which encourages women to flout the law and remove their veils. Well, it was started by Iranian women's rights activist Masih Alinejad, and she joins us now from New York. Masih, good to have you on the Newsmakers once more. Did it come as a surprise to you? Thank you so much. The 18 years of, I guess, a deferred sentence and two years of jail time for Shajarizadeh, and she's left the country now, but the fact that the sentence was so harsh for following your protest, did it come as a surprise to you? It's a shocking sentence because, uh, you know, she has done nothing wrong except practicing her civil disobedience. She was unhappy uh, uh, to wear compulsory hijab like millions of other women inside Iran. And they don't have any opportunity to protest against compulsory hijab. So she joined the campaign because she found this campaign is... Uh, uh, you know, a peaceful movement to show her protest against compulsory hijab. And other girls of Revolution Street, those women who protested compulsory hijab, they got one year prison, mm -hmm. one of them three months and uh, um, two years suspended. But this time, it's 20 years sentence, 18 years suspended, and for two years you have to be jailed. By, su by suspended, it means that if you remove your hijab, if you talk about it, then you have to right. go back to jail for 18 months. And it's really scary and backward law. It surprised many other people in Iran. Right. Let me ask you if you feel maybe that the protests need to be toned down, not because the principle is wrong, but because of the harshness of the sentence, maybe you feel, okay, maybe we shouldn't be doing this right now. Is that a factor at all? That's a good question. That's a good question because, look, when you uh, look at the history, then you see a lot of women, you know, they sacrifice their life to change discriminatory laws. My responsibility is to make awareness about the situation and the risk. Like I myself in Iran, when I was 19 years uh, old, I got in, uh, involved in uh, student activities and I got into prison. I became a journalist and I criticized the government that I got a lot of attacked by the politicians inside Iran. So I was forced to flee the country. All this happening to me and other women inside Iran, it's just because of the Islamic Republic of Iran. And I think it's better to ask them to oppress their own people rather than asking women like me, Shaparak, and millions of mm -hmm. other women to stop protesting, uh, you know, uh, right. the backward laws and this oppressors inside okay. Iran. Okay, you say the ball is in their court. Now... As you know, we wanted you to have a discussion or debate with Mahbuba Abbas Khalizadeh. Um, I know you didn't want to appear on a panel with her, and we respect that. She's also anti the compulsory hijab that's imposed in Iran, but she disagrees with you on tactics. We spoke with her a little bit earlier on via email. She sent us some of her notes, right? And she said, compulsory hijab is harsh. The sentence was extremely harsh. It was an unacceptable sentence, as any sentence would be. But she believes, and I pose this to you because she talks about you very directly, she believes that the reason the sentence was so harsh was that the White Wednesdays movement, led by you, Masih Alina Jad, has added to its campaign for women's mm -hmm. rights a call for regime change, and that there's a conflation of women's rights with regime change, which has led to the state looking at women's rights activism through a security lens, it's an existential thing, right? So a security lens and using more severe tactics to repress activists. So Mahbuba Abbas Ghalizadeh is saying she agrees with you. The sentence is harsh, compulsory hijab is wrong, but White Wednesdays might be making it worse because you're calling for regime change. Do you respect that argument at all? Not at all. First of all, I respect millions of women who participate in a peaceful movement, and we have to understand that they are mature enough 
and they know which way and how to protest compulsory hijab. Nobody can make decision for them, not me, not other people. They, they are the women inside Iran. They are aware of the risk, and they know what kind of uh, imprisonment or pressure they're going to, uh, you know, face from the oppressors. I'm going to give you an example. Shima Babai, she's only 24 years old. She, she joined White Wednesday's campaign, and she lives in Iran. When she got interrogated, by people like Mahbube <laughs> saying that, why you want to overthrow the regime? Why are you doing this? Why you're just joining a campaign which has been, you know, uh, uh, supported from Masih Ali Najad outside Iran? So that means you're working for Masih Ali Najad and you have to admit. You know what she said? She said that, I am not working for Masih. This is Masih Ali Najad is working for me because I don't have any media inside Iran. And she published that on her Instagram page. And she is one of the brave women that I think you have to refer, that she knows she, what she wants. She said that, I want, this is 21st century, and I want religion to be separated from politics, from my personal life, from my choice. And I want the Islamic Republic of Iran to understand that this is the time that you have to stop, you know, taking my body like a hostage and writing your own ideology on my body. So okay. I am just giving them a platform. Okay. That's it. Okay. Masi, good to have you on the show. Hope to have you on the show again in the not-too-distant future. Masi, Alina Jad joining us there from New York.